Hey Realm Walkers, I'm Cerebus Orbis, and I hope you're having an awesome day today. And if not, come and escape with us anyways. This is episode 11 of Stranded Among the Realms, which is an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. And today we're going to attempt to take on the Astrolabe side of power, which is... It's going to be painful. It's going to be painful. I did a bit of prepping before this, before we did this, and really all I did was set up a small camp across the way and I, I basically hired a companion in order to help us get through this because it's going to be challenging like if you saw yesterday's episode we tried to scout it out and we were immediately had problems and it was just the first room technically the second room anyway here's the companion we've got and I realize now that she's still got her default druid stuff, which isn't very good. It's only level 16, I think. And also, our campsite is over there across the water. Um, if you can get a little closer to it. It's right there. If you can kind of see our tent... Just barely. You can just barely make it up. Excuse us. But she's going to need a better outfit. And for that I think we're going to need to pull out the stream rewards. Let's claim all this. Oh, we don't need the umbrella. Do we need the dress? Do we give her the dress instead of the suit? Oh, I see. It comes... It's just the dress. That's fine. Okay, those deer need to, um... figure out exactly where they're trying to go. Oh, she still has pants. So we should probably transfer these things. Equip that and the hats. And the gloves. Wait, she didn't equip... Alright then, let's um, we may as well just transfer this over to her. And just grab all this other stuff. Transfer you, transfer you. I promise, we're getting to the good stuff. <laughs> just want to... 31. Oh, Everheart. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if this is worth keeping, the 31 breaches. Anything else? I think the rest of this we can just trash. Right. Okay, now we're pretty much ready. This is the best armor she's going to get for now, so... I wish they gave us a better hat, a female hat, because the top hat just does not match. That's okay. It's free, I suppose. Alright, so let's... Let's get ready for this. It's gonna be a long day. Ooh, we should have select. No, that's okay. Right, let's do this. I think last time we cleared out the bottom floor. We weren't able to clean out, clean out the uh, top floor, or top floors. Oh, 
Isn't anyone gonna spawn up here? tried to hit that one. Oh no. Stop. Oop, can I hit Alabaxon? Oops. Yep, that's uh that's genius, amazing marksmanship right there. Ooh, we're not gonna follow I bet they're going to glitch out if I uh, try and hit them. Really had to move the second I shot there. Came down. Are they not going to follow? I prefer to fight them outside, at least but one like one by one, one on one. But I don't think that's going to happen. Over here. Dude, you suck. Need to get away from the, uh, the entrance, in case the other guy decides to follow. patient thing. Uh, see, one-on-one -on -one they're okay to deal with. It's like when there's a guy bombing you and two of these knights chasing you, it's just impossible. Hey man. been turned through the middle of their attack. Alright, let's go get um, our friend back. Up. Oh shit. I hate these things so very much. They hurt so, so much. All they do is like lob shit at you like, constantly. Um, is there anything up here? 
I mean, besides this really cool... I don't know, planetarium? Is that what this is? I mean, what... I, I don't know what an astrolabe is for the for one thing. But this seems like a planetarium type thing. You know, with... Planets <laughs> revolving around his celestial bodies. No, oh, it's cool. Not like the modern planetarium with the uh, holographic projections. Just a regular... That away for a sec. That just looks neat. Alright, downstairs. Oh, wait. We have a chest over here to, to take. Chesty chest. Chesto chest. No, we don't. I guess we got it already? Oh, yeah, we did. Just don't remember at all. It's just that kind of day, I guess. We used five of our uh, injury selves. Hmm. Chain bed. We'll read this once we're done. Okay, we got more to kill. Go fight upstairs. Oh, oh it is wet. Cause it's raining, of course it is. So much. Is uh, stamina intensive? Ow. Okay, we have to not attack as often, or just we need to evade more. So I never maneuver building. Or reach. See, the, the leap, the defensive leap is too far. We need. Oh, fuck you.
Hey. Fuck you, dude. Got a little impatient at the end. Should have waited a bit. And man, those things hurt so much. Let's go pick up our companion. I should have maybe given her a two handed weapon. Where's. Did we pass the entrance? I think we did. Oh shit. Of course that thing is there. Of course. Of course. Uh, we also need food. This rain really isn't helping. Where's that thing at? Right there. Right? Right in here, dude. Or it's nice and dry. Dude, come here. Hella, get out of the way, please. Hit. Oh, come on. Alright, repair. Oh, jeez. Okay, all our stuff is... How much is the repair all? 400? Yeah. That's okay. We'll just do this one by one. We're still at 28 health pack things in injury selves, so we're still okay. Oh, there's more. We have to deal with more. More. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Dude, what? I didn't realize that these... Okay. I did realize they were there. <laughs> Been picking them up quite a lot. Didn't realize they were their bonuses were that much. <laughs> That's a ridiculous amount. These were made for these fights. So we'll... We'll chug one down at the end there. Although it lasts a good long while, like twice as long as these, so like a half hour. Or, yeah, almost 25 minutes. Yeah, we'll use that at the end. Uh, for now... Oh, right, they're on one floor below. And they can't make it up here because there's this ledge. Which you can't really see, but there's this ledge that they can't get up. So we could... Well, the Maleers... They'll just regen if we hit them. 
because it can't get to us. Oh, that's exactly what we want. Is that another one? Yeah, dealing with two of those? Fuck no. I think this guy's gonna recharge. No? Dude. Then I'm not gonna waste... Free kill. I'm not gonna say no to that ever. Why can't we hit his head? There we go. I wish we could get heart shots on the bound. Or maybe we can. I've just never tried it. I feel like heart shots only work if you're sip if you if they're unaware of you. Like if we aim for his heart, which is right, right there, like nothing, maybe a little bit lower, yeah it's nothing. Is there anything here to loot? Again, we'll read this stuff on the way out. I don't think so. Let's, um... Let's start the encounter, I guess. This is going to be another painful one. Because there's... I believe it's a bishop? and two rooks. <laughs> yeah, we can just observe it a lot. Like, we can observe it do stuff. And it just shoots. And then the two bishops over there. Three. She's gonna get killed fast. Um, let's look for. See, the second we get down on this floor, that bishop's gonna shoot at- or yeah, the bishop's gonna shoot at us, and the rooks are going to chase us. I know we- I believe that is a- I believe this is a weak, weak point, but it's not registering. Maybe he has to be active. Okay, when he's teleporting, it's half damage. He decided we were a threat. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like it has to be while he's doing this is when you can score the criticals on that thing. Which makes pro this which makes fighting him in melee a problem. Because you want to circle him and hit him with the maul.
I... No, I could do a thing. The ball is the best thing for him. Maybe the mall's the best thing for these, for all automatons. He's come to take his place. Still good, really? I was far enough away. Maybe not. Your turn. Ah, yes. See ya. Okay. How are we gonna take care of this guy? We could shoot him. That's just gonna take a really long time. That was just lower there. Yeah, we're definitely hitting that dead on. It has to be activated on that. So, what do we do? Do we... Okay, first... We drink one of these. Oops. Let's just consume it. Let's eat... Oops. Let's eat the plant one. And let's eat the... Predator one. Oh man, this trap is so Oh, dude. Get him. Oh. Ouch. Oh, he was hurt. Hit him, Ella. Good job. Ow. 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 Thank you, Wall. Also, Ella for just smacking the crap out of this thing. He doesn't even care about her, apparently. We just let her take care of it. Good job, dude. You, you're the MVP, man. We just sat here and took cover like cowards. <laughs> well, I'm the coward. You're good. You're good, Ella. You're good. Um. Yeah, I thought that was going to be hard, but I mean, it is hard if you, like, go down here and actually fight 
with your fists, which is not a good idea, especially against the three bishops, or three rooks, because they will just smash you into pieces. And yeah, the best strategy really is to sit up here like a big coward and smack them. <laughs> Otherwise, if you're down here, you have to deal with running around, hitting a, a rook, running while this thing is shooting at you, and yeah, it's not, it's not a good, it's not a good scenario all around. So yeah. Do it like I did. Yay, Astrolabe card. We can actually go do the Astrolabe. Well, we'll start doing the Astrolabe. Is it just me? Is this not healing? Not a lot. We're not healing at all. Huh? Our health regen is like way up there. Okay, okay. Let's um let's deal with that in a second. On the Obsolescence of Fey Machinery by Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage, by the way, is, actually, is, actually, is an actual historical figure who created, in essence, the first computer, quote-unquote. The first counting machine is really what it is. Um, and so he's kind of credited with being the antedescendant of modern-day computers, or the, the inventor of. Anyways. Section 2, Chapter 13. 163 of additions to human power with consideration of the first advantage of knowledge unfathomable human power derives from the combining of knowledge with what the lesser educated deem magic but what the calculator knows to be the practical and tangible results of natural law and science at each increase of knowledge as well as on the contrivance of every new machine that puts that knowledge into practice human power becomes augmented the empyrean who, who contrived the astrolabe observatories invented a machine by which his power was quintupled. With the astra astra astrarium, we have decoupled it. So quintessential is this advantage that we might posit with near certainty that our power will surpass that of a fey in but a few decades. Through invention and machinery, the calculator will see us render the entire archives of fey obsolete. That's not good. Like destroying an entire not destroying but you know making them irrelevant kind of like in fantasy where elves I don't know are supplanted by humans in terms of the major power in the world that's kind of basically the same same narrative we should have probably done this in order but it's alright Chapter 2, 20. The acquisition of a knowledge once unfathomable, at unfathomable is the first advantage of calculator. Let me slow down. The acquisition of knowledge once unfathomable is the first advantage of calculator advancements in machinery. So extensive and important is this effect that we might, if we were inclined to generalize, embrace both advantages under this single head. However, we shall restrict our illustrations upon this point. Charles Babbage, by the way, likes to make um, run-on sentences. As an example of knowledge unfathomable, the superiority of the astrarium to the observatories of the astrolabe realms may be noticed. The court of Empyrean spent millennia constructing observatories in pursuit of the study of realmic space. Yet Hook and Newton constructed the astrarium in but 19 years, and Lovelace deciphered its outputs in mere months. Humanity can now pinpoint concentrations of ether, chart shifting pathways through the realms, surpass a surpass a fell fey prince's portal magic which could not, even with the best tools, be accomplished by lesser fey means. Okay. Again, they're talking about 
the advancement of humanity beyond the capability of the Fae who have been here their entire lives, right? This is their realm. And it's very um, colonialist to look at. Like, oh, we, we are superior. We can do that better. We will do that better. And who cares what happens to them in the meantime? Oh, where do you got this? I was just looking for anything else that we didn't get. Oh, there's one. There is one. Do you want to chop this up? Do we need more hinges? We Does this even drop lacunas? That's a very nice object to have, so let's try and collect it. Like once once we get um, refined tools, we're gonna start using lacunas for them. Not enough stamina. Nope, no lacunas in that. The accumulation of skill and sciences has not been beneficial to the Cochlearia alone. All of humanity has participated in its advantages. The sedate sages of the temple and the ruder hermetics in their academy are alike indebted to our astrarium, the very machine which bypassed the outdated and Augean sites of power. The resources acquired through our fourth transept have preceded even our most enterprising expeditions of the past. The unfortunate dissemination of its design round our planet, to the attempted to be attempted with mixed success by foreign nations, has proved that cochlear minds alone, and the application of, of objective empirical principles be the only path forward. The advantages derived from cochlear machinery seem to arise principally from two sources, the acquisition of knowledge once unfathomable, the addition which they make to human power. Okay. More exploitation plans. <laughs> Not plans, just making a note. Hey, we can exploit this. A very human trait. Alright, let's grab this last one. Technically the first one. So if you want to read it in order, then go backwards from here. Sorry about that. Chapter 1. There exists, perhaps, no single circumstance which distinguishes the Cagliari more remarkably from other factions. Other than the vast extent and perfection to which we have carried the contrivance of tools and machines for replicating fake constructs. These are long sentences, and he needs to, like, shorten that. The amount of patient thought, of repeated experiment, of happy exertion of genius by which our manufacturers have been created, created and carried to their present excellence is scarcely to be imagined. If we look to the city we inhabit, or to the Astrarium and, and Fourth Transept, we shall find in the history of each gear and cog a series of failures which have gradually led the way to excellence, and we shall notice, in the art of making even the most insi insignificant of them, processes calculated to excite our admiration, to prove our superiority to the outdated methods of Fay. Ah. It is nighttime. 6.01 p.m. I know, I know. So tired. Oh. It, it turned really dark. Okay. Um, where's our... on the other side. On the other side. Just really cannot see going through that. Right? Did I, am I lost? I think I'm lost.
Hm. Okay, okay, here we go. Nope, nope, this is still isn't it? Okay, so I'm assuming Yeah, to totally lost. I don't understand how I how I lost that much. Okay. So this Yep, 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 yep. So our camp should be in that direction over there. What's going on? Up, 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 up. No. Okay. Oh, jeez. Come on. Up and over. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Take a nap. Let's have a snack. Um, again, and so here's like the kit that I brought with me. I was expecting to use a lot more of it, and we seem to be doing okay. So let's let's actually grab everything because we don't need this stuff here. Is there anything? Nope. nope. So let's remove this. Oh, wonderful. And we'll remove this as well, which is our fairy ring. In case we died in there, we'd at least pop out back here and then get all ready. Thus the campsite. But we don't need this area either, so... Let's go home! The fact that we're not regenerating is kind of annoying. Uh, I'll have to... Reset... Ocean's going there. And actually our kit is good, so let's swap out. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna restart the game real quick so that we can start getting our health back, because that's not good. That was... that was strange. But we are regenerating again, so that's good. Okay, so let's get ready for Astrolabe. Let's make three Astrolabe cards. Uh, where's our ink? Ink, ink, ink. Inkity ink. Where'd we put those? I don't know why the escape key is hitting twice. Oh, we have tier 2 paper? Okay. Uh, we need three of these. Actually, we're going to need more than three. We're also going to need one of each. Um, forest, desert, and swamp. Let's see, do we have any... We already have a swamp, we already have a forest. We need a desert. So, one more... More paper, one more ink. Hello. You did great. Ashley, do you have anything in your inventory? Did you grab stuff? Nope. You're good. Ah, uh, wrong one. What do we need? A desert card?
forest, swamp. Yep, desert. We need a desert, desert card. Ah. And we need three of these. You know what we should do? We should... Let's let's get rid of some of these for some dust. Because I made them specifically to destroy four dust. Uh, let's leave... Four stacks? That's, what, five, eight, eight hundred? No, not even eight hundred. Like, seven hundred. So before I was saying that six rocks, you know, makes a hundred, um, makes a hundred of these marbles, and that's a pretty good spend, but an even better spend is wood, wood into paper. So if we take, oops, oh, we don't actually have a lot of wood. Here, I'll just demonstrate anyways. Let's take 10 of them. Is that enough? Let's take 20. Actually, no. What we'll do... It takes 6 rocks to make 20 of the marbles. I think it takes 2 of these. So let's take six of these and see how many we get. We're gonna get 36 paper. So six, instead of six rocks turning into 20 marbles, we're gonna get six wood turning into 36 paper, which translates to 36 essence. And wood is it? equally easy to get as rocks. So here, let's let's destroy these. 36 essence. Yay! Okay. Now, let's make our kit. Let's make our kit and then set up um, a small camp when we get there. So, we're gonna need... Wait. We're gonna need a bedroll, which is six sticks, six plant fiber, angling basket, which is ten plant fiber, and the stick tent. Twelve sticks, six fiber. Um What do we need? We also need this, which is six rocks. Okay, first let's get a... F do we need a fairy ring? I feel like that's a pointless idea to bring a fairy, fairy ring. So, that's alright. You know what, let's just, let's just go. Let's go do it and farm up whatever we need to over there. There's no point in bringing resources with us. Uh, reset. Let's put in forest. Wait, already had a desert card. Okay. Astrolay, let's go. We should probably bring more ammunition.
Hey. You're stuck. Smack him. Ah, stuck on a tree. Only one way? Here. Wow. All right. Looks great. Looks great. Oh, wait. We need to look for... Oh, why is it so far away? Okay. We go north. Hi. Um. Let's put this in our hands. And let's actually... Let's refresh our food now. Oh, hello. Can, can we build on that, please? That'd be nice. I like a nice big airship base. That'd be sweet. There's a help person over here. Which we could do, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we do anything, let's make our camp. Excuse us. Can y'all not run through here, please? This is... I know you're all skittish, but give us a break. Do we need a storage thing? Sticks. Six sticks. Ooh. Hello, berries. Saskatoon berries. And we need six rocks. Hey, rocks, where are you at? Some rocks. Oh. Excuse me. Like I was just like, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab you with my antlers. Oh, we need one rock. One rock. I'm not sure why I'm getting weird spikes. this a hundred yep next time okay I suppose we could put our gear down here yeah let's make a little um little basket oh is it necessary should we put our stuff in here? I think that just makes things more complicated. What if we took half of our marbles? Like that. So if we die, then we at least have some waiting for us back here. Okay, where are we going? North. That way.
was the angle too much. Couldn't get a, uh... Oops, missed. Oh, I got stuck in a tree. Guys are meaty. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll let Bimmy just smack you in the knees there. Got a little premature with the, uh, the knife there. I was like, um, he'll be dead in a second. What do you need? That's a lot of materials. Is that worth it? I think we keep moving and do this some other time. Oh, you need all these buildings done? That's a lot of materials. That's it. That's like half a day of just farming this. Which, um... Not today. <laughs> not today, sir. Uh, we're still going north, right? Oh, we got a long way to go. Um, let's go up here. Yep. Up. Swine. That's really about it, though. Steal of agility. Let's go to that one. No, we need to climb that and get whatever goodies are up there. boy. Die. Thanks. There's weird hitching going on every so often. It's really, it's kind of frustrating. And I know it's not, no, I know, I know what it is. And it is some Previously, it was a memory leak with recording, so it's OBS somehow doing this. Not OBS, something attached to OBS doing this. Because our GPU is only up to like 80%, maybe 90% while we're, while we're circling and doing fighting. But it's not maxed. Like, it's still very, very cool. Like, the temperature for whatever reason. Great. 
Cured meat. And what is this? Charm of the Fencer. I'll take that. Do we... We do. 6,000 health. 6,000. Okay. Let's see what's made, what this thing's made of. Was it worth it? <laughs> Tier 1 leather, reinforced leather, uh, a tin hinge, and a brass ingot. A brass ingot might be worth it, maybe. But no, no. 6,000? No. Oh, you know what? While we're here, let's repair this. Bloop. Open toolbox. Very nice. Very nice. Wait, why did I stop midway through? Did I hit the tree or something? Moving on. Moving on. Um, north. No. Food. Forest wood? I feel like we've already got way too much forest wood. Wolves. hitting me. You guys are a little bit uh, hyper aggressive. Uh, where was the other one? Where? Ah, there you are. Barberries? Probably not. We've got like tons of those. Um, yeah, we don't need we don't need wood. I think we're good in that regard. Excuse me. Um, did we talk to the essence trader? I think we talk to him first, and then we go do the Fate Tower. Or maybe we do the Fate Tower tomorrow. We'll just head in that direction now. Which makes me realize... Why did that do that? Again, hitching, but it's... It's not even close to stress. Is that another agility? 
go do it. Treasury eminent. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. I wish these agil agility puzzles were a bit more nuanced and different, because they're pretty much the same every time. And it might be different in much higher realms, but it's still, I would like to see a lot more variety. Just across the board. Um, back north. Ooh, Saskatoon berries. Or these, please. Ooh, hi. Oberon and Elizabeth, adopted for the stage by Mackenzie Reed. Act 1, Scene 2. Day, 1569. In the throne room of Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth. Slight and graceful she sits, wearing a lightly powered, powdered wig. Enter Courtier. Courtier, my liege, I may I present John D, accompanied by the Prince of the Summer Court Fay, Oberon. Enter John D, Oberon, and Oberon's page. John D walks joyfully forward. Oberon follows, dressed in fragrantly, spinning and gazing around with all the awe and decorum of a child. His page follows at a distance, head low. Elizabeth, smiling. You return. Oberon turns to find the source of her voice. As his eyes settle on her tiny form, he pauses before letting out a boisterous laugh. All in the room look away in horror. Elizabeth, stunned, cannot help but stare. <laughs> oh, these crazy customs of the Fae. I suppose if you were a mildly eternal being, you'd You'd see people in that light. It's like, huh? It's, it speaks. We're just having that jovial kind of outlook and everything. Okay, where is... Straight ahead, apparently. Let's go. Let's go. boys. I look at the heart shot. Really? Dire, please dire. Thanks. Where's the other one? Oh, right there. Peace. 
pretty hard to see among these rocks and grass. Hello, Charlie. I take these berries first. Now we can conduct some business. Let's see, what you got? Oh, a lot of stuff. This is going to be expensive, huh? We have almost 500. We can probably buy all this. Ooh, grilled fish. Would unique set? Oh, it's just awnings. Okay, let's. Well, it closed up all of them, really. <laughs> Why? Um, wait. Maybe we shouldn't buy all this stuff. Let's um. Let's hang back on getting this stuff. Let's instead go do the Fate Portal or Fate Tower. Do whatever um, challenges we can on the map, and then and then we'll get a bunch of recipes that way, and then come back and buy. That way we don't waste any essence. So, um, talk to you later, Charlish. Get ready for this. Is there stuff up there? Oh, it's just lanterns. Okay. Um... Although honestly, we should just go back home right now and kind of put our stuff away and then just get ready for this tomorrow. Because we don't have to deal with this right this second. We're actually running on, out of time in this episode, so yeah, let's do that. Let's go back to the respite. Try and find some berries while we can. There's none here. Home sweet home. Stuff away, shall we? Ooh, we are full. We may need to make more trunks. Let's put that away. Over here. It was raining over and it's raining again in the yard. It's like, uh, it's a lot of rain. Too much rain. Too much rain.
I think the clouds are, are slightly dark, or very dark. And I'm sure that changes once the uh, the weather come, becomes nice again. Let's go over here by the water. Actually, let's, um, let's go. Let's look this way. Ah, oh, come on, Ellie. Really? Must you be in the way? Oh well. We'll just have to sign off like this. I figure this is the, a good place to end the episode. And I hope you all enjoyed. And, um, it's been pretty good. We did a pretty good day today. I thought that the astrolabe would be harder, and it wasn't too bad. It, I feel like we did a lot of preparation, and that's really what, what got us there. Um, I still fear the, the next one, which is the Provisioner one. That one's going to be really tough. Um, and then the one after that, Herbarium, is going to be... We'll deal with that when we get there. I just don't want to think about it because it's just so hard. Um, yeah, anyways, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next one, alright? Peace.